I've had lots of questions about how the pedestrian collision avoidance actually works. So I looked it up and uh, it looks like from the owner's manual that the camera system that supposedly detects pedestrians at six miles an hour or higher may not actually break the car unless you intervene and physically hit the brakes and uh, to trigger the uh, more aggressive braking to be able to avoid hitting a pedestrian. So I wanted to check this out to see if that really is the case or whether the car could stop uh, on its own and brake on its own if uh, I actually did a test. So we put together a foam dummy, uh, call them foam bee, to see what happens if we uh, actually do a pedestrian collision under uh, controlled conditions and see what happens. And also to check to see uh, how sensitive the camera is to different uh, lighting conditions at the same time to see um, what you need to do to be able to avoid a pedestrian. So based on that, I went ahead and started some testing. So here we go. If uh, foam bee lives, uh, pedestrian collision avoidance. Here we go. Okay, foam bee collision avoidance take two. So in conclusion, my recommendation is to always drive defensively, look out for pedestrians and other cars, and be prepared to uh, stop in time as much as possible. If you do hear the alarm system go off, I also recommend to immediately hit the brakes to activate the system so you can possibly stop in time. Anyway, that's uh, what I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you do enjoy these videos, please subscribe and like this video for more content in the future. Thanks.